so uh, kalishwar can you please share your early life briefly yes i was born in bidar it is uh, about 700 kilometers from karnataka uh, bangalore so I was, uh, i was with my father and mother till the age of uh, 10 and then uh, due to hiv infection and uh, uh, lack of medication and proper guidance in terms of hospital um, we had to lose our mother and father at the age of 6 my father passed away that was in 2006 and uh, 2010 i lost my mother and then later on uh, i was i was with my uncle and aunt yes do you have any other siblings you have brothers or sisters or we've lost the connection kalish or i can't hear you we can't hear you at all can you please reconnect We were off. That's another thing. Completely blank. So I didn't know what happened. Yes. Hello. Can't hear you again. Can you hear me now? Now, now yes. Now I could hear you just now. Yes. So, okay. so we can. So I was just uh, saying that in the. Yes. Okay. So after losing my uh, parents. Uh, it was a lot of a uh, challenging environment for me because i was just uh, 10 years i was not, uh, in the regular schooling i was not in a proper care environment that's where i got the support of my uncle and aunt and lucky factor is that they do not have uh, children and they were ready to take uh, care of us so that is one turning point or the lucky aspect of my journey i can say so this uncle is my brother's younger brother so we stay in uh, umnabad that is in the bidar district so from there uh, what happened was due to various support from the networks and the programs that are run by um, hiv care programs i was taken to sneha care that's in uh, bangalore so then later on all of my life journey started from sneha care going to the school meeting with children talking to people all this exposure and learning uh, came through sneha care but surely we were like once in a year on an uh, on a annual holidays we were uh, going to hometowns make making our visits to the family members to keep that bond and the relation so that is there even now at sometimes we are on call on sundays on uh, maybe sometimes occasionally we visit our family that is there but when it comes to the relationship matter it is not very strong like unlike when i talk to my own father and mother and when i talk to uncle and aunt there is there is a gap and difference uh, in the communication but that is not the challenge now for me because i am i am able to understand what the situation is and then uh, to act according to that this then i have also an younger brother who is staying with me in snehagram that's in uh, krishnagiri so he is doing his uh, uh, first year degree program and i have completed my graduation and then now aiming for the masters in ba mba mba so that is my small long term goal also okay so you all are you are two brothers is it you are two brothers yes yes ma we are two one is younger and then and the other one okay okay and uh, uh, you are uh, you are presenting a paper at aids 2022 uh, which is titled uh, education for um, if if i am correct uh, you are presenting on empowering hiv adolescents with education so what do you feel about the power of education yes, yes you have been studying and how how does how will it will it empower uh, adolescents or for that matter anybody living with hiv or not living with hiv particularly in the 
case of those living with HIV. Yes. Like, uh, ma'am, when I take the examples of my own self and maybe children or adolescents being in my position, I see that education is one of the main pillars of development. So, like, when we see in the health aspect, in the HIV care program, we give a lot of priorities to health. Because we see that, okay, once you are healthy, then rest of the activities comes later on as, as you are healthy and able to produce. But now what I see, there is a lot of development and growth in terms of health. Like we have good medication, good ART system. We have everything that you can live healthy. But when it comes to education, that's where we lack so much. It can be because of loss of our relatives. It can be because of the environment conditions that we are living in. We are not able to get the facilities of basic education. So I see this education is transferring life from one end to another, which health doesn't do. Health doesn't bring us wealth or health doesn't bring us knowledge. It keeps you satisfied, it keeps you happier as long as you are alive. But education, what I see is on a longer basis where we are able to build our career aspect, where we are able to build an identity in the society. So all that comes from education. So I, I feel that education should be prioritized and the facility should reach to adolescents and youth, especially focusing on them because we are in generation in terms of HIV care program. So we do not have a strong background. So we need to prepare our strong background with education. So that, that was a small concept and idea where I wanted to focus on uh, education. When I say education also, I take it in two ways. One is the formal education, what we get through colleges, schools, universities. And the second one is it's also an informal education where I am being educated by my peer member, where I am educated by the relatives. It can be friends, it can be doctors. So where we are trying to learn about various aspects which make us grow well. Yes, that is important because, edu yes, yes, please continue, yes. Yes, Kaleshwari. So that, that's a few answers I put there. Ma'am, uh, uh, I had written this abstract, but uh, it didn't get selected. Uh, mm. I will not be presenting a paper on this, but this is an uh, research and the abstract that we have written. But I have been also selected as an uh, youth leader program. I am a youth representative from India, where I will be taking a greater lead in uh, the youth sector itself. Okay. So, so you will be going to attend the AIDS, the AIDS 2022 conference. So uh, is this your first yes. international conference you will be going to attend? How, how do you feel about it? What is your feeling and what do you hope how it is going to empower you and you, uh, will, be, and you will be empowering others also? That I think that is also very yes. important. Yes, yes. It's, it's a quite exciting for me uh, because I, I aim to meet with people. I get a lot of exposure and understanding of various minds and culture in terms of HIV care program. So I am very excited uh, to see about the program and my involvement, how I can contribute to the various activities involved in HIV program. But uh, the main, main happiness is that I will be making an uh, international trip which is for the first time. So that is like, uh, obviously when you ask, when it comes to the personal matter, when it comes to the program matter, I become much more satisfied. Like I have something to say that, okay, I have been able to present there. I have been able to achieve something. So I, I see this has some of my supporting aspects in my career growth. And uh, also, you were talking of education, and you made a very apt point. It's education is not only about learning bookish knowledge or getting degrees. Education also, yes. I think, is about being compassionate, about caring for others, and uh, 
that sort of an education i think everyone needs as we have been talking about stigma and discrimination in schools and institutions so i think other children they should also be educated about about the about what is the reality about what the science says and just to dispel those myths and uh, misinformation which is there in the general public about hiv okay. and about so other diseases as well even even the COVID right example is like ma'am you yes 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 so like in the beginning of the video you just asked me whether it's it okay if i am able to publish your writings or maybe in the video recordings i am okay with it but i don't know whether this confidence comes from the community children whether are they saying it okay let it let it be not a problem i am open to the societal issues challenges i am ready to face so this confidence we want to build through education yes yes very good so do you have any message for this 24th international aids conference what is your message for the youth particularly so one thing that i was thinking uh, for my growth what has uh, supported me is the exposure and the opportunities i want to concentrate on this because uh, i am a young person looking for various opportunities i always want uh, where i can grow so that happens only when you are able to put in an exposure like if i am growing in a family where they are taking care of cows most probably i might end up having a dairy farm but if i am growing in a situation where i am encouraged where i am taught well in terms of maybe career growth it can be maybe activities so that exposure creates lot of difference for an uh, individual growth so like i want to focus on maybe if there is an any activities the vision should be vision should be like create opportunities build exposures for our growth so that is what i want to bring in in the line of uh, discussion thank you very much thank you kaleshwar it was really very interesting talking to you speaking with you Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you very much. Hope you take care well. Take Thank care. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.